And then you have to ask yourself, in a hyper-Bitcoinized world, you will still have um, companies and, and uh, infrastructure projects which will need cop capital, which have to raise equity and, and issue bonds to finance their, their plans and their operations and their, uh, and their business development. You have to ask yourself, where do we, uh, where do we raise capital the best? And the best uh, location for me is like something which is very native to Bitcoin, which uses Bitcoin as its native token and is as close as possible to this central global store of value. You want to have at least friction. You want to raise capital there and then maybe restructure around these financial products to bring it into the traditional markets. The whole stablecoin game, a lot of economic activity. So the, when we look back to last summer, 2020, I think the market was at, I don't know, five or 10 billion US dollars. And now I think we have in total something like $90 billion of um, stablecoin issued. Most of this is happening on, on USDC, on Tron, and on Ethereum. I want to have this economic activity, which uh, there's demand for it, and I can see it um, with remittances here in, uh, in locally in Panama, people sending money home to Venezuela, they use um, uh, stable coins. They don't care about the superior monetary asset. They just want to send 500 bucks from here to Venezuela. And they want to have 500 bucks arriving because otherwise they have a uh, discussion about Bitcoin volatility with their family. And it's something they, they certainly want to avoid. the whole Bitcoin backed loans thing. This will be a big thing for the next five, maybe maybe 10 years, but I think more like five years. It's a, it's a business opportunity there. It's booming. But if I want to take a loan, the most attractive solution that I see is, is HODL HODL. I think Bitfinex will bring much more liquidity into HODL HODL and HODL HODL will actually compete with the BlockFi's, the Unchained Capitals, with the Lendons. And, uh, and uh, also is, is, is providing additional value because if they pay you out in stablecoin, uh, you don't have to go through all the traditional uh, fiat banking system with this. So I think there's huge value to have stablecoins on liquid, actually. And we looked at, at Liquid and saw like, hey, maybe this is a, a niche which has not yet gotten the, the right traction. Maybe we can build some valuable infrastructure here, especially it follows more the, the Spectre model of focusing on custody, security, and where you have a node which you can switch off, where you can go offline with Lightning, you have to always be online. You can switch your node in your Spectre. You, you run an Elements node in the background. You switch from the Bitcoin core to the Elements uh, node, which is the Liquid node, basically. And then you can use the same keys you use in Bitcoin core to set up a single SIG or a multi-SIG um, wallet and um, operate your wallets in there. We are certainly looking into adding the AMP, the Blockstream AMP, the asset management platform, so that you actually can hodl your um, Blockstream mining node or you can hodl your, your Volcano bond on Spectre. And <laughs> it just sounds amazing. <laughs>